Hi, fourth graders. This week, we are going to be reading about money. So, do you have a dollar bill? That dollar bill can be exchanged for any number of things. Centuries ago, people had to barter, or another word for that is trade, for goods and services that they wanted. So, what are different ways that we use money? And how do you think we will pay for things in the future? Those are just some things to think about as we read this story. Our essential question for this week is, what has been the role of money over time? So, the history of money. What makes money valuable? If you think about it, a dollar bill is only a piece of paper. You cannot eat, wear, or live in a dollar bill. So, why do people want it? Think about the proverb, money doesn't grow on trees. Money is considered valuable because it is hard to get. Bartering. Imagine you're a goat herder visiting a marketplace in China in 1200 BC. The merchandise being sold around you ranges from cattle to tools. Suppose you need to purchase a piece of rope. How will you pay for it? The goats you own are your sole source of income, so you would not want to trade a goat for the rope. The goat is too valuable. Instead, you might trade goat milk for the rope. The system of economics is called bartering. But what if the rope merchant does not want goat milk? Early currency. No need to cry over spilt milk. Luckily, you sold some goat milk earlier in the day in exchange for 10 cowrie shells, the first system of currency in China. You had two cowrie shells to the rope mer or sorry, you hand two cowrie shells to the rope merchant and put the rest in your pocket. This is a much easier way to buy and sell things. Cowrie shells are lightweight, durable, and easier to take with you than a goat. The idea of currency is catching on around the world in Thailand, India, and Africa. You decide to save your extra shells until you have enough to invest in another goat. You will be spending cowries with the expectation that another goat will pay off later since you can drink or sell the milk it produces. Taking this type of business risk makes you an entrepreneur. N new kinds of currency. If you were at a marketplace in Rome around 900 BC, you might have used salt as a form of currency. The idiom to be worth one salt is still used today. Another form of currency, metal coins, first emerged in China around 1000 BC. Coins varied in shape, size, and worth. By the 7th century BC, coins made of precious metals such as silver and gold became popular in Europe and the Middle East. These coins were usually round. After being weighed on a scale to determine their value, coins were stamped with designs that stated their worth. So we have a glossary of money terms, bartering, trading by exchanging food, services, or goods instead of using money, currency, any form of money that is used in a country, economy, a system or method of managing the production and distribution of money, goods, and services, and marketplace, a marketplace, <clears throat> a place where food and goods are bought and sold, or the world of business, trade, and economics. And in the picture, we have this painting shows a scene from a typical 19th century Italian market. Paper money. Carrying a bag of coins can be heavy. The weight of coins and a metal shortage are two reasons the, paper, the use of paper money developed in China in the 10th century. The earliest European paper money appeared in Sweden at the beginning of the 17th century. Italy started to use paper money about 90 years later. Paper money originally represented the gold or silver a person had in the bank. Today, we can tell the value of paper money by reading the numbers printed on it. Modern money. In today's global economy, exchanging money electronically is common. Many people use a credit or debit card to make a digital transaction. 
Numbers on a computer screen represent dollars and cents, but no actual paper money is exchanged. As easy as it is to spend money today, saving money is important. When considering spending money, think of the famous proverb, a penny saved is a penny earned.